Van Dyke Brown and some of the Mars Black. We'll just keep it simple for this stuff here. Maybe even a little bit of the uh, indigo in a few places there. Now I'm glad that you were able to uh, to pull that out and be successful there, Queez. That's fantastic. Now we have to also think about our blue-ish light source there too. But for right now, I'm just uh, going to do this. Uh, now, uh, Queez, uh, I mean, are there any other crazy things you keep finding like well okay I can't use this anymore or I can't use that anymore or well I better switch to this now and I'm just gonna shove some of that darker stuff down in there because I uh, don't really care it's no big deal all right let's do this again just taking this brush here Chucking some color on this. Uh, don't really care. <laughs> Again, not uh, not gonna fret over it too much. Now, I'm switch to maybe a little bit of the asphaltum and Indian yellow. Oh wow! Look at that asphaltum and Indian yellow. Get your asphaltum out here. Uh, now, Queez, do you, do you have a suspicion as to why that is? Uh, are there a whole bunch of new vehicles that they're going to be releasing? Or is it just last edition, they were too weak and nobody was getting them? As in, nobody was buying them? So they said, oh, well, you thought you were smart. Now we'll just make you buy vehicles. I mean, they would never do that, would they? Hey there, Rico. Rico, sorry I didn't get a chance to shoot you a message back. I was going to try and do that today, but today has been uh, it's been a little bit too busy. There's just too much stuff for me to do here. <laughs> With uh, on, on top of having to do new parts of the house that I was really hoping to wait on. So sorry I didn't get a chance to shoot you a message. Hopefully Mom is also uh, just uh, getting better and better and better each day. Uh, let's see, uh, oh, let's see, so that was, uh, there was usually something, ah, okay. So that, and, oh boy, Arctic Wolf, wait till you see that get wiped away. Oh my goodness, that is going to make a massive, you can even see some of it over there, it actually leaked out over there too. That is, uh, I mean, pound for pound, well, that and Egyptian Violet. Those are the two strongest staining colors that we've got. And I mean Egyptian Violet, not Diazinine. I mean Diazinine, or Dioxazine, sorry. I mean, it's not like it's terrible or has no staining power, but as we all know, it is not, uh, it is definitely not the king of violets. Ah, so there might be a special guest joining us tonight. Well, recollection, I'm glad you could be here uh, kind of at the get-go. That's really good. Let me just uh, move this up just a smidge here. Again, just uh, hitting it with our, with our sponges for right now. So, yeah, recoil, that just, uh, that, that turnaround was so amazing. And that's uh, a massive relief, too, on all all counts. Did I, oh, no, I didn't actually hit this just yet. You know what, I should probably get my uh, floral blue out here. I'll just use the this right here. What's the big deal? Where are you? Is that the, okay, that's the blue. We'll just uh, stick you over here. Just realized I wanted to do that too. Alright, that's good. light so you can see where that's going to hit and then of course there's our red light and then you can see where that's going to be hitting so that's going to be very very interesting I believe yeah I'm gonna grab me some more of these yeah I mean all I don't want to say it just when you said the 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 improvements that happened I said holy smokes that is that's pretty amazing now look at this 
So that is just a little bit of the Indian yellow and then uh, uh, the Asphaltum too. Pretty wild, huh? Pretty wild. And of course, don't blink because it's all going to happen fairly quickly here. I can actually take a little bit more of this away since we're going to be hitting it also with our red. A little more of that taken away. All right, now uh, let's find ourselves another junky old brush here. This Prussian blue, I guess. And uh, let's just have at this. Like so. So a little bit of that blue get over here, a little bit of that blue get over here, the usual, some of that over here. Hey there, Painting Tentacle, nice to see ya. So yeah, sorry about the whole sound thing again. When there's a stupid update, sadly that creates all kinds of mischief. Wipes out all of my microphones. Literally just, sh it switches them to something that doesn't even exist. It's not like it just turns off the microphone. It, it, all of a sudden there's something like, that's not any, none of that stuff's actually on the machine. How in the world did it actually change it to that? But somehow it manages to do that because of course, all right, there's our blue. We'll let that have a chance to set there for a bit. And then we'll, uh, yeah, we'll use, no, not that. Let me see if I, oh, we'll uh, go ahead and use this, whatever. Uh, so, Quiz, uh, I know, do, do you think you're fairly well equipped for this new edition, or do you think uh, it, it's going to require a lot of adjustments to armies? Or, or do you think you're, again, you're sort of, kind of, maybe, possibly, in decent shape for right now. I'm actually going to grab a little more thinner. There we go. Just to get that out here. <laughs> so I, I, I get what I get. What you're saying there, all right, ish. <laughs> Should be all right, ish, maybe. Yeah. Now, uh, I, hopefully, well, I don't know if there'll be, uh, obviously there's things like the FAQs that tend to come out in dribs and drabs. Hey there, Lord Dave and Green Fairy Studios. So, Lord Dave, hope that you're doing really, really, really well. Now, uh, of course, Lord Dave, if you want to share any of your Song of Ice and Fire Goodness, of which there is a lot, right? There's uh, there's quite a bit of that. If you wanted to share any of that in the chat, you just uh, go on right ahead. Where's my little flashlight here? So this is the fluorescent red here, and it is going to hit. I'm going to see it'll hit this too. And now, yeah, this is our fluorescent red. We took some... The green stuff world, fluorescent red powder, mixed it with linseed oil, and we made ourselves an oil paint out of it. We've done that on many, 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 many previous occasions. It's always, uh, always really nifty to see the homemade fluorescent oils in action. Again, just uh, kind of using this like a little bit of a filbert brush here. A little bit of the red work its way onto the stuff. Okay. Now we'll wipe some of this away here. Hey there, Nocturnal Demise. Thanks for joining us here. Well, Nocturnal Demise, you could maybe start out with the ones that are a little bit more. On the monochrome side, I think you could start out 
maybe with the clone troopers or something like that and then just do the accent of the blue and then sort of work your way into things that have a little bit more of the color just doesn't have to happen all at once right uh, boy Lord Dave uh, I'm a little bit bummed that I haven't been able to get back to the Song of Ice and Fire stuff there's just been well too many things happening all at once here <laughs> So we'll we'll try and get to those as uh, soon as we can. Now painting badly, I'm uh, looking forward to seeing what happens with your uh, with your paints there. It's really fun to actually make your own paints. I, I mean, I have to say that is really 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 fun. So again, this is a combination of the not fanchion red, that would be the Napsol red, and our own homemade fluorescent. Let me get my word. Ah, there you are. There you are. Now I'm gonna grab me this and grab me a little bit of the blue here. I might even go so far as to throw a little bit of that in there. Yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of that, and now let's get the dark in here that we need to separate our two areas. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, Lord Dave, uh, yeah, I've got, as it turns out, I actually have the diorama. I, I thought it was just just the miniatures but as it turns out it's actually the diorama so we'll uh, I guess we'll be painting a diorama of uh, of Darth Vader and friends or whatever whatever that thing is yeah I, I, uh, I can't say anything as to uh, how it plays or anything like that definitely have not played the game I mean well it it would be now again if that if, if at some point I, I don't know if it's something that can work as just a solo one on me game because there's nobody to play it with here I mean if that works then okay but otherwise yeah not so much and try and darken this down a little bit too All right. Maybe even his leg here. Let's just uh yeah, let's put that too. So all of a sudden here. Right, does it does it take long to get this established? Nah. Is it relatively simple? Yeah. Hi there, armored wolf. Yeah, sorry, armored wolf. I meant to send you that sooner but today just uh, uh there's been so many tasks to try and take care of all at once so i apologize i couldn't shoot you a message sooner so i i do hope that uh, well obviously uh song of ice and fire is one right lord dave i mean there's just no way to adapt that to just being the one person playing it there's too much secret stuff I mean, that that's what really makes it nifty, right, is all the secret stuff. Hey there, Valfara. I mean, it wasn't, uh, wasn't a terrible day or anything like that. It's just there was so many physical tasks to be done. All right, you know, I'm just going to take this right now here. I'm just going to use some of this junk here. Get this on the base. Because then I have my uh, little reference from it. So, hey there, Blades. Nice to see you. And Arid, nice to see you too. Hey, Elite, great to see you. Now, of course, uh, everybody should please give uh, the Blades and, of course, Arid those follows. I just want to make sure that... Uh, all right, I think we're all caught up there. I think we're all caught up now. So, again, I'm just going to chuck this on here. All I did was I added a little bit of the green stuff world texture. Well, my, my Sculpey sheets that I bake, right? Roll them out, bake them. And then I added a little bit of the Make It Epic, some of their basically pipes. <laughs> I, I don't know why. 
I just I kind of didn't have time to do anything else. That was about the most elaborate thing that I had time for. Hey there, Steve. Nice to see you again. So, yeah, we've, uh, well, we painted the entire starter box, right? Well, it, with the exception of the droids. I still got to get those droids going. But, uh, yeah, I mean, remember, we started out with uh, bo -Katan, all the Mandos, and... We ended up doing the uh, the clone. I think they were the last ones, right? The clone troopers. Now, of course, where's our Darth Maul? There he is. So you can kind of see where it is that we'll be heading here with our uh, with our Count Dooku. Ah, oh, boy, Arid. Was it one of those things where it was just kind of like? A little bust, like a little crack in it, or was it mega busted? But it was just completely hidden by that curtain. Hey there, AD Creations. So everybody, please give AD Creations a follow. Also, if you could do that, please. So AD, great to see you. All the fun folks are here. All right, here I'm just gonna generate as much up there. We go. We're just gonna hit that. Face. Boy, oh boy, Arid. Uh, sorry, I'm, I jinxed you on the Easter eggs. I, I, I jinxed you. Remember I said, oh, well, you should be done with the Easter eggs now. You should be all good. Sorry about that. I jinxed you. Let me see if I can't. Ah, there we go. Again, got to come back and refresh this since we picked up a bunch of gunk there. Do this again. And, yep, there should be some down here also. Down here, but i got to keep refreshing that brush. Uh, so, yep, Steve, two sources, just like, where did he go? Oh, here he is. Well, technically, this had three because also his uh, mask has the glowing yellow. So there was, there was two on this one as well. So kind of a similar situation there. And the, oh yeah, let's. Uh, there he is. Now if, I can't get to the big one, but uh, the double light source thing is always really fun, right, Valfera? So if you want to go back and, and see any of those previous. All the previous Shatterpoint stuff, all you have to do is go back and uh, check out the highlights. It's all right there. Just there waiting to be checked out. It's like a YouTube channel almost. So everybody please give AD Creations a follow. So, uh, so Blades, Arid, if you, wanna, if you guys want to post your uh, links there in the chat... Uh, that would be fantastic, as always. Get a, There we go. Really shove this down in here. Because believe it or not, we have, uh, we have only begun to lighten this. Thank you so much, Sarge. Appreciate that. Well, happy Monday to you there, Sarge. And I figured, yeah, is it going to be one of those mega late nights, Sarge? Or is it going to be a normal late night? Hopefully, it'll, hopefully just a normal late night. Not, no mega late night tonight. Uh, Alright, fine. Fine. We'll get some of the Prussian blue in there. I don't think it's going to sneak past anywhere else. So we'll just do that. All right, so we're going to leave that now. Let's uh, shimmy on over this away. <sighs> Let's do it to this. There's our floral red. Maybe even uh, now getting into some of our not floral red. Let's try some of this here, see what this is going to do. Oh, ooh, that, ah, oh, that's fantastic, Sarge. That's really good. Uh, uh, hopefully, well, I know there's some kind of a 
delicious treat waiting for you back at the casa. Hopefully something super yummy, very tasty. Mm, let me get a little bit more of the red there. Here we go, our lighter reds on the cloak. His arm. And of course we're uh, 23 minutes in. Hey, it's Recoil's mom. It's actual Recoil's mom. Everybody please say hello to Recoil's mom. Of course, uh, again, everybody let's wish Recoil's mom speedy recovery but first just say hello so recoil's mom uh, just really glad to hear that all of that just started to work out much better and that you're on the mend there that's fantastic to hear and of course well we saw the picture uh, i think it was a couple of weeks ago when when recoil had had us projected on the giant projector <laughs> I think it takes the trophy for the largest size viewing of uh, of Wappleville so far. So Rico's mom, great to see you, and again, really glad to see that you're just on the on the upswing there. That's fantastic. I know that was not easy at all, but again, glad to to see you making that recovery. That's what we all wanted to see. It wasn't all that long ago, right, that it was just the things were not terribly fun. So hopefully, again, the getting back there on the mend and doing all the exercises and stuff works out. Ah, well, thanks, Elite. Oh, and, of course, thanks for, thanks for stopping by here all the time, too. Appreciate that. Appreciate everybody coming by here. I mean, this this was the place for for me, where when when things were going, shall we say, spicy, when things were way too spicy, it was a place where I could kind of go to have something a little bit less spicy. Uh, oh, that, that's uh, interestingly enough, Sarge, my sister, actually made some, and she brought it over here, and I actually ate that for about three four days or so. All right, so again, uh, getting our multiple light sources in here. <clears throat> Boy, do I, I don't know if we want to lighten this up too much just yet. Not with this, not with this brush, but we're getting a good start to things here. So again, recalls, Mom. Uh, so glad that you could actually join us here, All right? Actually uh, doing the typing and everything else. That's fantastic. Obviously, well, you would have liked it if it was weeks ago, for sure. But uh, take take the wins, take the wins where they are, right? Now, let me. I'm gonna add a little, little smidge of that into there. And now I've got to start getting some of my lightest light here into this. Then we'll swing around. We'll do the reds too. Ah, oh, thanks, Elite. Really appreciate that. I just I. It means a lot to to hear that it's helpful for folks. I mean, as as far as an educational thing, as far as uh, maybe just making the day a little bit better. Because boy, oh boy, we could we could certainly use that, right? I mean, there's there's plenty of things that well, there's plenty of Monday out there. Yeah, this <laughs> this is the anti-Monday broadcast, even though it's Monday. But yes, we're very anti-Monday here. Pro Pluto, very pro Pluto, pro Pluto, but uh, very anti-Monday. <laughs> if that makes the least bit of sense, it does to me. Now let's we'll see if I can here. Let me give me some of this uh, radiant turquoise here. Uh, Chuck some of this over here, and again, we can use our blending brush on this too. Right now, I just want to. See where do we want our lightest lights to go here? As far as maybe some of the uh, reflected light. We'll be coming back with some more darks too. Don't worry about that. 
Ah, that's fantastic recalls, Mom. Again, thanks for thanks so much for for joining us here. It this it's great to see you in the chat there. I know we would we would try to say hello and all that kind of stuff to you, but fantastic that you can just uh, you can do the answering there. Uh, all right, well, Sarge, you uh, well, we'll certainly be here. We'll certainly be here when you get back. Yeah, oh, and safe uh, safe travels back to the casa, of course. Now, I think I can actually get away with a little bit of uh, light stuff there because uh, it kind of is shiny. His boots are shiny anyway. Ah, that's that's uh, that sounds really fantastic. Yeah, I, you know, I think uh, I think you told me about that before. Yeah, you told me, or was it mac and cheese? Ah, uh, maybe I think it was this. I could swear it was this that you told me about before. It gets crazy, right, Green Fairy? I mean, you literally just can slap the stuff around and then uh, poof. It's it's literally like that. It just goes poof. Now, wait a minute. Before I do this... So, uh, again, this is uh, 30 minutes in. Yeah, that that's 30 minutes for you right there. I don't know. I think there's a bunch of folks that say, wait a minute. I, I too, would like that. I would desire that after just uh, 30 minutes. Yes, I would want that as well. Get a little bit more of that. There we go. Some of the brilliant yellow pale in there. I just want to make that even a bit more towards the light end of the scale there. Maybe a little more thinner as well. Can't just be adding only light. We have to come back. Uh, when in doubt, make things darker, right? And once again, 30 minutes, 20 sec. Well, we actually lost a little bit of painting time because, of course, the stupid update killed my mics. I mean, it literally eliminated them. It didn't just you know, go to some default mic. It went to something that doesn't exist. And I just will never, ever, ever understand that, why in the world that happens, but it always does. And of course, Windows updates just turn a virus into a bigger virus. They should just call them Windows viruses. Uploadable viruses that you are forced to do every single month. All right, let's see if I can get a little bit more of my uh, light on a couple of these surfaces here. Nice to see you there, Black Skull. Hope that you're doing well. Yeah, so uh, oh recall I have not had a chance to uh to try and scope out those those cocks, but I do I was really glad we could sort of talk through the idea of the rubber mats using utilizing those for the dead marshes and exactly how the heck we would do something like that. Just paint the darn thing on there. It'll be fun. Be way more fun than just trying to print something out and glue it on there. So it's going to be way more fun. I think it'll be much more durable. And I think it'll work out just fine. All right, so again, we'll have to come back with some of our darker stuff here. It can't all just be lighter. Now, again, we were talking about shiny on the boots. I, I think I just need more thinner into this. Sure enough, that's what it was. Just needed some thinner for that. So, again, happy Monday to everybody, except for, uh, well, in some areas, like for, for Rico and Rico's mom. Oh, gosh, that's got to at least be early afternoon has to be somewhere in the what was it one thirty two thirty something like that so happy Tuesday 
to recall and recall his mom, and of course to, uh, yeah, yeah, even, well, we'd be really early, <laughs> be really early for some of our folks in the UK and Germany and, and such. Again, just uh, mapping out where some of this is going to go here. So does Count Dooku really know how to count? Or can he count as well as uh, Count Chocula? No, that, that would be just the Count. Yeah, who's the tougher Count? Count Dooku or Count Chocula? I don't know. I'm still thinking Count Chocula is tougher. Especially if you try and uh, take away his box of <laughs> cereal. Let me throw a little bit more of my light down there, too. Yeah. And everybody that's uh, doing the Gen Con thing, please don't forget the Armored Wolf booth, uh, 2707. 2707. That's the Armored Wolf booth. Please go there to check out all the fantastic leather crafted goods, which uh, Armored Wolf is <coughs> hard at work. Uh, he's. Uh, furiously working on it right now as we speak. And yes, now I can actually speak because the stupid microphone actually works. Now I will say that these guys right here, where the heck did they go? And these guys, they're not super fun to uh, be putting together. Not not super fun. So yeah, they, these can be a little bit of a bugaboo right there. That's for sure. Now here you can see this one. You can actually see what I did there. So I I added again the green stuff world texture ore, then that bit there, some uh, ground cover or some gravel, and a little bit of the texture paste. And then here's our Mando, which was a little bit of the extra texture sheet. That's actually added on there, and then uh, some some of the Make It Epic basing bits. Hey there, Megan. Nice to see you, Megan. So, Megan, if you want to post your uh, your link stuff there in the chat, and everybody, please give Megan Paints a follow if you could. So, Megan, great to see you. Queez has already been in here, of course. Again, sorry that I didn't start this up a little bit earlier. It's been a very, very, very busy day. Uh, not, uh, not a Monday-filled Monday in the classic sense, uh, so I'll take that. I mean, that's that's all good. But there was just so, so many things to get done. So everybody, please check out the Insta links there again from, from Megan. Then uh, please give Megan Paints a follow. Uh, so I, I uh, so I got this box assembled. I'll try and get s some more going too. But I also want to get those Eldfall Chronicles miniatures uh, put together. At least a couple of those. Uh, I'm gonna save at least one of the robot guys for a tutorial vid. So one of those two is going to be a tutorial vid for the Patreon page. I don't know which one. Maybe even the Mando, I don't know. But one of these guys will be for the Patreon page because of uh, Purple Glow. And I will actually mix, I think, uh, this time. Instead of just using the, the purple from, gosh, what is that, uh, Marion Street? I think I'm going to try and actually mix some up for myself. All right, uh, now we need some more of our dark in here, I think. There, well, are not fanchion red, fanchion red. A little smidge of Egyptian violet there. So, AD, hopefully you had a chance to post your uh, your link there in the chat. If you haven't, uh, please go ahead and do so. The fantastic art there of uh, of AD Creations. So lots of people for you to follow there in the chat. 
All right, where'd my blending brush go? Just use that. I'll just use this here. Why not? Okay, just a little bit of tap, tap, tap. That's all it is. Same here. Do the same here as well. So, uh, 38 minutes. 38 minutes ago. How much paint did that have on it? Besides none. I'm going to say none. And I think I'll be right. Alright, let me do a little something out here. Something a little more neutral. Oh, and uh, by the way, I pre-glazed out here. It was just that uh, Indian yellow mixed with the asphaltum. No, fine, let's just hit that too. And uh, we're just going to let all this blend in. Look at, see all the, the dark color that ends up getting on that brush there? Now that's going to have to be darkened up, so is that. Otherwise, uh, it's not really going to look terribly uh, like it's been lit, is it? Or illuminated by something. <clears throat> hey there, Chris. Uh, so it looks like Chris has already thrown down the gauntlet. So for those looking to uh, those looking to do some punnage, it's already been thrown out there. So Chris has uh, thrown down the pun gauntlet already. So uh, <laughs> have at it. And there's the link there by AD Creations. Everybody, please check out AD's link. And, of course, please give AD Creations a follow. So, AD, uh, when was your next stream going to be? Oh, and actually, Blades, uh, are, are you on target for for any streams this week? Kind of uh, things going a little bit better and such? Uh, that's uh, Sorry, I meant to ask earlier, but I just, uh, just couldn't get my brain to think of the words. Sorry about that. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to let that also get a little bit dirty. So I'm just using the blending brush right here. That's that's all it is. Blending brush again. How many times have I said that a, a good first miniature with the oils is something that has a big old cloak on it? So that you can enjoy this. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Might be something to think about. Now I'm going to get some of the uh, Prussian blue and some of this here, maybe a little bit more. I would like it to be a bit more of a dry brush as well. That's going to be a little bit too on the greenish side. So we'll just uh, clean this guy out here. Clean out Mr. Brush. Make sure it's nice and dry. All right. Not, there we go. That's a little bit better. Not quite so green. That's that's just the power of the uh, <laughs> the Indian yellow doing that right there for sure. All right. Let me see if I can lighten this up. And this is, I think, going to be more of a pin line wash type of a situation, I believe. Ah, so AD's gonna maybe be streaming next Sunday. Oh, gee whiz, uh, weddings, vacations. And I definitely understand that, that's for sure. That is for sure. Now, it's gonna be almost straight up. Quick dry white here. And again, we're going to try and do this in a little bit more of a uh, pin line wash fashion here. Semi pin line wash, I guess. See that that uh, gets a little bit uh, spicier right there. Playing a little bit of a value game. A little bit of an uh, electric blue look there.
And that's got a decent amount of thinner in it. But yet, look at that, see that? You can thin the oils, you can't dilute the oils. That is in the Book of Wapple. Even if you thin them down to practically 2% of the original color, they're still, especially in opaque or something like this, you're going <laughs> to... You're going to notice that it's there. It's not going to just go away. It's going to have a lot of uh, opacity to it. Now, you can't just paint it on like, say, just a, a, a more traditional mix. All right, there we go. Get some light on his uh, face here. Like so. Maybe some on his hair and on his beard. I don't know if it reaches all the way to there, though. I'm not so sure about that. Maybe that ah, should reach over to here. down here maybe onto his belt I guess but then we also have to start thinking about those darks there too so after a while you you've made things as pretty much as light as you possibly can and again the the boots especially they're on the shinier side so we want to make sure we get some of that effect going. We also need a little bit down here on the floor and on that pipe. I guess I'll throw a little bit of thinner under that too. Why not? There we go. Uh, so, I, oh, recoils, bum. Uh, uh, just I know you're looking forward to getting back home and such. Uh, I was just wondering what uh, the f the first home baked or home cooked meal. What, what what would it be that you want to have when you're back at the house? Is there just something you say I have got to have this? Uh, so, Steve, I generally just use those little flashlights. Now, of course, the, the type of surface, right? This is a, all of his clothes, they basically kind of register as shiny. So that means that this can, uh, you'll get a little bit more reflection than a surface that would be more absorbent. So something like this, obviously, a surface that you would say is, is metal or, again, a fabric, something that's uh, shiny. And then, of course, where's the little flashlights here? These are also the things that kind of dictate that, right? So you can see where the light hits him, hits his cloak. So we're just uh, we're following the magic of the lights. Follow the lights. But, of course, uh, not the same kind of lights, though, that you find in the dead marshes. Don't want to follow those lights. Don't be a don't be a little hobbit there. And follow those lights. Now, I'm really looking forward to a dead marsh board. That's going to be really really fun. Recoil. Now it's one that I've wanted to do pretty much since the start of the. I mean, when the game first was back in 2002 or or so when I first started painting the miniatures. Actually, I think for one of our first Valentine's Day, uh, uh, Kathy, uh, her whole family, they, they love playing cribbage. And, of course, they have uh, cribbage boards and stuff. So I actually made a cribbage board in the shape of Baradour. And at the, the certain landmark places, I forget what those are called, there's, there's some Nazgul there. 
And I believe the operative phrase was something like, nothing says I love you like a giant evil tower. So that was, yeah, it was something I made for Valentine's Day. And that was all made out of Scopey. And boy, if I was to do it again today, it would be a thousand times easier and also weigh a thousand pounds less. It would be done very differently. Alrighty, all right, let me grab this and let's again get back to some of that darker. And there's maybe a bit darker here, adding a little bit more Egyptian violet to that. Maybe making that a little bit darker. It's just cause. Same here. Now, I don't know, has anybody in the, the chat already uh, painted this particular box? I think if I hadn't pre-ordered the other stuff, if I had just gotten this box separate, it would have already, they would have just sent it. Instead, they kind of hung on to it until the pre-order stuff was ready to go. Note to self, I never... Never gotten anything from Miniature Market that was something that would be a pre-order type of thing. Yeah, I'm going to throw a little bit of that darker red down into here. Now, so Recoil's mom says anything that Recoil makes will be better and more more palatable. So. Yeah, recalls mom. I hope, I hope that it is something that is your favorite. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure you're just gonna really enjoy it so much. Oh, we're almost there on this darker stuff here. We're getting there. We're moving along. So I'm just going to chuck that over there and uh, something as a blending brush here. What is this thing? Yeah, we'll just use this. So no pressure whatsoever on recoil there. No pressure. It's only like a, this is a, the, the first meal back and been anxiously awaiting this for weeks and weeks and weeks. No pressure whatsoever. So it's a very low pressure situation in general there. What could possibly go wrong? Throw our blending brush into that. these. There, we're going to get rid of some of those brush strokes as well. So, uh, 51 minutes. <laughs> oh, man. It's it's almost uh, well, Green Fairy, the, don't, you know, like we say all the time, it's like stealing. It's very much like stealing. We're, we're time thieves. We're just stealing time. Usually time is stolen from us. We're the ones doing the taking now. Yes, indeed. Let me see if I can't... Oh, I can't lighten that up a little bit more. Where is... I just... Ah, there you are. All right, now I'm going to go with the same thing I was... Doing with the Egyptian, but I'm just going to do that with um, indigo. Do that with the indigo here. Just tighten up some of these lines and areas. So the the whole point of this sort of thing is that you work on the entire figure all at once, so you don't end up having an area that's well, oh, no, that's just way too light or way too dark, whatever. There's that reason. Other reason is that it's just going to be so much more efficient, save you a ton of time. 
so much time. Why? Because some of the areas are, for all intents and purposes, practically painting themselves. Self, uh, you know, everybody wants self-painting miniatures, don't they? Uh, let's see. Uh, boy, recoil. You, you're not going to believe this. You're not going to believe this, but that's actually what I've got kind of a hankering for. To, to the point, that was actually what I was supposed to have last week before all the craziness here with the weather. I was actually supposed to go and have uh, some lasagna, just to have a place actually right down the street. Couldn't do that. It just it's really funny you should mention that because that was what I was uh that was something that I was kind of uh thinking I wouldn't I would like me some of that all right let me darken this down again we also need to do some of this down here on the base but that's probably going to be more of a pin line washy type for at least down here Looks like you can see it. I need maybe even a little bit more of the thinner there. There we go. Now we've got ourselves some hefty dark down in there. Maybe even up here too. Oh, eh, nope, nope, gotta let that set there for a second. Don't have to mess around with it right away. Ah, well, that sounds fantastic there, too, recoil. I'll have one of everything. More dark down here. Less of the and that yellowish stuff going on here too. And this, uh, actually, it's just some of the radiant violet of all things and some of our blue together. Well, I could just let that mix with what's here already. Hmm, what is happening up here? Just gonna chuck that over there and we'll grab something as a blending brush. Uh, Steve, not all that often. Uh, well, Kathy just was never a fan of that. So it was only when I went somewhere else where they had kind of that and your, your more traditional type pizza there. But the Armored Wolf has been very kind and has sent uh, the deep dish meatses as we like to call them here. So there's definitely plenty of places that do that around here. Uh, so Recoil is offering a little bit of a feast and festivities and of course a glorious Bulldogs victory. Funny how Recall already has assured he will guarantee that on that day the Bulldogs will be victorious since we're coming all the way over there. Might just mean that some of the players on the other side might have a few unfortunate training accidents during the week. So that way the Bulldogs come out on top. Of course, I haven't had a chance to uh, check the ladder, and obviously there was the loss to the to the pies. Hopefully, they were able to right the ship there because it's late in the season, and you want to be in that top eight. And they were kind of a uh, well that that loss to the magpies put them kind of on the verge there. 
So recoil assisted uh, Elrond may just uh, go on over there. And where is he? Oh, here he is. Says that. Oh, oh hey, hey, uh, you you want to point that somewhere else? Is that? Oh, sorry. Wait a minute. We're supposed to be enemies, aren't we? It's like. Uh, have you been getting into Gandalf's pipe week? Because you're kind of mixing up universes here. It's like, oh yeah, that's right. Well, I mean, we have dark evil towers in this universe too, don't you? It's like, yeah, but not so much with the rings. <laughs> so there's, there's Elrond, the uh, purveyor of the Middle Earth Protection Agency. You have a problem. Elrond makes it uh, go away. He has a conversation with it. So, yeah, now you've got uh, Elrond versus Dooku. <laughs> that, that was something that I didn't really think of when, when I started getting the, the Shatterpoint stuff ready. I wasn't thinking that it was going to be a little bit of a uh, contest between universes. Is, is Dooku going to use his golden voice on you there? Or does does he have the same does he have the same powers as uh, Saruman with his voice? Now, of course, I was listening. I think it was a Men in the Men of the West video last night, and they were they're talking about the what was the strategy of Saruman, and basically they just said all the wrong ones. Hey there, War Squirtle. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you, War Squirtle. Hope you're doing good, and of course, if there's something that you wanted to post in the chat, things you've been working on and such, I'm sure that'd be fantastic. So yeah, they basically said he pretty much couldn't get out of his own way. <laughs> and he just, everything he thought was going to be such a great master plan turned out to be, well, not so fantastic. I wonder if I think maybe we can still use this as a bit of a yeah we can use that as a bit of a blending brush over there now of course Armand Wolf says wait a minute whoa, whoa whoa wait wait how did you get to be so tall I'm the Maiar here it's like I, I don't know I'm only 38 mil it's like 38 mil that that's like conquest saying there's only 30 of you gotta be like 42 mil it's like no no it's like well then why are you shooting over my head <laughs> well there there you go there's there there's the there's the confrontation between the two of them it was it was inevitable i guess that was inevitable it was going to happen do i uh, yeah, yeah, I better get some of this on his beard over here, too. All right, so again, this is one hour and one minute. So clearly we are painting way too slow here. We should have much more progress on this after one hour. I can say that because nobody can reach through the computer and punch me in the face. Now, of course, uh, Elrond might have one or two, uh, oh, shall we say, is, uh, heavies or something like that that kind of come along. And uh, again, they have a conversation as, as it goes. Now, that's what I was looking forward to having way back there was that little bit of lighting effect. We'll do some of that here now. I'm going to try and tighten up some of these lines. Then we'll be coming back with our lightest red again. Here, let's hit this. Also, down here. One of these... 
Yeah, let's just do it. Uh, let's just do this here. Some dark down here, right on the shoe with boots or whatever. And then we almost forgot about uh, the the pipes here. Yeah, these are from Make It Epic Basing. Well, it's even there's a there's a Kathy miniature that had a whole bunch of light sources on it. <laughs> yeah, there's uh there's a bunch on that one. Actually, our Apelius one, uh, he had uh, quite a few too. Uh, technically, I think he had about ten or so light sources on him. Between the candles and, of course, uh, the staff and everything, with all of its glowy components. Now, now we're starting to move towards some of our other stuff here. That should also be dark in there. Yeah, Steve, that's something that really uh, is very fun to do. I don't know if you saw the cave drake. That was another similar thing because it had all the dwarf casualties on it. Now, that the cave drake, I did that as a tutorial video on the Patreon page, the basing part of it. And then we painted that up on stream here. And that was uh, that definitely had some tiered basing to it as well. You know what? I'm going to say that needs to be darker. And then we're just going to take this here brush. Everybody, please check out the link that Ryan just posted. Again, Ryan doing the stuff with the oils there. So, Ryan, you've been doing some fantastic stuff with those oil paints. And actually, Green Fairy, if you wanted to post some of your stuff too... In, in the chat there, it's a, some of your oil painted stuff. That'd be fantastic. All right, yeah, that little bit of extra dark, that was, uh, that was needed there too. Now I think this is maybe set enough to where I could maybe go even a little bit lighter here. Right at the base of that lightsaber. So a little bit of that floral red in there. I still can't believe that that's uh, that's still actually active. I didn't really mix that much of it. All right, there we are. That's our nice lightest light here for our lightsaber. Again, everybody, please check out the Insta link there by Ryan. And also, of course, I give Ryan a follow, if you could, on the Instas. Now I'm going to try and get some lights on his fingers, I think. I don't know. I'm going to put some center on this. I think I could use some. So that it sticks here. Yep, sure enough. There you go. Now let's get the sleeve here. Well, that might have been too much. I'm just going to put some of that excess out here. Now come back to the sleeve. And more light right there. And if that's uh, too much, we'll just... Do a little bit of that. So again, everybody, please check out what Ryan posted. Go uh, check out the Instagram link there. And we're going to get some more of our light on this right there. Maybe some more here too. I think, mm, no, I, especially in the metal part here that's closest to our light source, might be able to get a little bit lighter here too. 
Let's see, so the Gamlin Green Gold, say that ten times fast, which I cannot do, that's for sure. Ah, ooh, the Asphaltum and Pearling Black 2. Yeah, Ryan, that's a, that sounds like a really, really fun mix right there. Yeah, that's a fantastic... That could be a, a good little Nurgly mix as well. Now, Terra Rosa and Pearling Black. Actually, Terra Rosa and Thalo Green could be too. So again, everybody, please go check out the link by by Ryan there. Again, that's uh, that's what's possible with the oil paints, with also uh, minimal amounts of time spent. And let's see if I can lighten up his hair just a bit too. Especially since it's, uh, I think, getting illuminated by the uh, lightsaber. I'll lighten up that bit. So this, that's not the, the bases that come with the miniature. That would be... Uh, green Stuff World Texture Roller that we added there, because you can see it, it's taller. And, and then we added some 3D printed pipes. Now you can... Uh, yeah, here you go. So you can see that's, a, that's again, a sheet of the Sculpey added. I actually had to, unfortunately, put filler in there. I used some epoxy sculpt in there, and then we just added, again, a 3D printed bit there, and this Mando over here. So this is actually a texture roller added. That's not their base. So it gives it a little bit extra height and then we did this little do thingy there on his base. Okay, there was a piece of fuzz on the end of that brush. Here, let me get the paint off of here. Hey there, Big Chimpo. Nice to see you again. Hopefully your Monday was a good one with not too much Monday involved. Sometimes Mondays have way too much Monday. Hmm, too much paint sitting there on that brush. We're going to get rid of some of that. Also wanted to lighten that uh, right down here, right next to where the light source is. Should probably do that. Might lighten the knuckles here. And then, um, eh, I don't know how much more of this I want to do on the sleeves, necessarily. Blending brush again. Um, so I wonder if, uh, I don't know if Blackheart Models ever did a, uh, a bust of uh, what's of Christopher Lee. I don't know if they ever did, because I mean, obviously they did lots of horror movie busts. I just uh, I don't remember them doing a Christopher Lee bust. Man, maybe they did. It's very possible they did, and I just have no clue. Ah, well, Black Skull, I hope that works out fantastic. I really hope it does. Yeah, the Naphthol, eh, that's what we're using here. I mean, there's a lot, plenty of Naphthol on this uh, this piece right here, too. It's just interesting that it has that sort of staining power to it, but it really is, it's Fanchion Red, because Fanchion Red is just Naphthol Red. 
Somehow, though, one does. There is a difference in the in that that staining property. I just uh, don't know why. And I've not been able to figure out why. So again, that is one hour and 18 minutes. <laughs> that That's all it has taken thus far. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, there should be some, a uh, little more of this that works its way out to here. I'm just going to do, see, a little bit of a, almost like a stippling right here. Sometimes that's what you have to do. Now let me see if I can find some more reflected light in here. Maybe something that's not quite so much, uh, towards the blue. How about we do something a little more neutral than that, more like a, just a regular gray here. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, there should be some, a uh, little more of this that works its way out to here. I'm just going to do, see, a little bit of a, almost like a stippling right here. Sometimes that's what you have to do. Now let me see if I can find some more reflected light in here. Maybe something that's not quite so much, uh, towards the blue. How about we do something a little more neutral than that, more like a, just a regular gray here. Uh, so black skull, yes, uh, opaque colors with the exception of Terra Rosa. Opaque colors will not have any staining power. Yeah, the, the ones that have the staining power are the ones that are not opaque. Because generally the ones that are opaque, well, they're going to have some kind of white in them, right? To some degree. And that will definitely have a big impact for sure. Do we have ourselves a wild Lamaness in the chat? I think we do. Thank you so much, Lamaness. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Now, Megan and Queez were in the chat. I don't know if they're still there. It's Obviously, it's getting to be a little bit later. Well, it's late for you, too. So, Lamaness, uh, hopefully, maybe you've been able to uh, at least get your printers uh, going there again. I still have not had a chance to get the printers going. I haven't had a chance to put that light in there, anything like that. I don't know. Hopefully the... Well, actually, I hope I just put that thing down there next to the printer. Otherwise, I have no idea where that light is. But I think it's just down there. All right, now we got to start getting some ambient light. And things like our uh, pipes over here. Nothing terribly complex. Just throw that light on there and do a little bit of tap, 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 like so. And then Lamaness, hopefully you've been able to uh, get the keep going with the big printer there. Again, this is a very neutral gray here. Much more of a warmish gray than all of the. Uh, the cooler colors that we have over here where our light sources is coming from. And now we're going to try and get a little bit of the ambient light down here. Blending brush. So this is, uh, ironically enough, it's Radiant Violet of all things. Yes, Radiant Violet to paint some mid-tone lights on some pipes. Because, of course, it makes perfect sense. Get that joint there. All right, again, not, not too much of this, because otherwise we'll lose, once again, our lighting effect there. Ah, uh, that is that the ah uh, uh, that's uh oh is it, is it the C the what is that C A sculpt? Actually, there's some of the nutshell Altair 
things that I really love to be able to print for some painting videos. Again, I have to at least get that stupid light into the printer and see. If that's going to make a difference, I really hope that it does for a couple of reasons. All right. Let me see. Uh, yeah, I need to get a little bit of dark in there. I have to, I think, try and get some. We need to get some light on him as well. I'm going to see if I can get some dark in here. Also, a little there. And then we'll try to come back to lighten that a bit. Now, well, I'm, honest, I'm, I'm glad that uh, you kind of got a little bit of printing mojo going on over there. And I still have not printed anything. I mean, really, you can figure I haven't printed anything since April, really. There was a few things in May, and that was it. But glad that you could get that printed out for uh, for 80 creations. Yeah, no, just just in general, hope everything is going great there. I'm going to throw a few darks in here, and I'm going to actually see if I can get this to work as a micro blending brush here. Like we would do with any blending brush, just a little tap, tap, tap there right along the edge. Yeah, Laminus, sorry, that work has been, well, that way for sure. I don't know if that's one of those things where it's uh, a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel, perhaps. Now I'm going to maybe a little more light in a couple of areas of this cloak here. Probably just some brilliant yellow pale. And yeah, and we're going to mix it with some of the radiant violet too, I think. I'm going to hit that right there and over here. Little bit. Here we need some ambient light on this. Maybe a smidge there too. It's all the way down that cloak there. Now blending brush time. You see where ah here it is. Hey there, chaos. Nice to see ya. Uh, I hope that your Monday went okay. Uh, well, still we've got uh, we got an hour and a half of Monday here still yet. Again for our friends overseas, not to, well. It's already Tuesday, so happy Tuesday for them. A bit of tap, tap, tap here. All right, and you see, yeah, okay, I thought so. We haven't done any of our mid-tone down in here. Gotta be a little something in there. It can't all just be shadow there. And that's the nifty thing about the oh, see how easy it is to get down in there. And it's actual shading too. It's not just chucking little 
blobs of paint in there. Well, it is chucking little blobs of paint in there, but it's very easy then to get those all nicely blended and mixed, and boom, there you go. You got yourself you get yourself some shading in an area that otherwise would be really, really hard to reach. Like, insanely hard to reach. Now, his belt is actually a lighter color, so... Uh, grab this. It's actually the basically the, almost the same color as his cloak. Well, there, our Indian yellow makes an appearance again. This is the same Indian yellow that we mixed with the asphaltum to do a little bit of the, the pre-glaze with. Yeah, it's okay. I hope everything is going really well. And, uh, yeah, I know it's been a little while. Hopefully you've had maybe a chance to paint some nifty stuff as well. Now i got uh, some of the real yellow pale that mixes with that. And that will go on to here. All right, just uh, I had to change the belt. wasn't uh, the same color as I thought it was. That was really difficult, wasn't it? So hard to actually make that little tiny change there. Oh, so difficult. Not quite, really, is it? Hey there, unknown. How you doing? Uh, what do we got going on here? We're gonna get a little bit of the. sort of skin tone here but still would like to be able to lighten up a few areas but I just don't think that's a good idea so uh, nice to see you I know thanks for joining us here on the stream Ah, let's see. I'm glad it's been going pretty well there, Chaos. Let me see if I can get some of my light over here. On his air. Mm. We either need more thinner or less thinner. This, this is less thinner. Let's see what happens. Yeah, see that actually needed less thinner. Sometimes that's, uh, well, again, it's that thin sticks to thick and vice versa. And throw a little more of that here, uh, the brilliant yellow pale. Okay, not too much thinner. Again, we don't want it to be a pin line wash or something crazy like that. You can see how much lighter we can still go. Uh, oh, here we are. Back to our kind of lightest color for our glow effect here. Uh, thanks, Armored Wolf, for posting the GoFundMe link. Thank you so much for doing that again. The GoFundMe link, that's, uh, that is helping take care of some of these really large-scale things around the house that I just cannot do myself. Things that I normally would have done, wasn't able to, and, and now they just, uh, I can't tackle those, those uh, particular tasks. And that's what the GoFundMe is for, thanks to everybody that has already contributed to that. Where the heck did you go? You that ah, nope, there you are. There you are. This is my, my micro blending brush here. That was just way too sharp of a line. But now it is an hour and a half in. I can start to think a little bit about that whole brush stroke management stuff. What is that? I'm just taking a brush that has no paint on it, and all I'm gonna do is just a little bit of tap, tap, tap here. That actually does, it just gets rid of the excess paint. It's not uh, it's not doing any kind of shading or even blending necessarily. It's just getting rid of excess paint. By virtue of doing that, it actually hides the brush strokes. Conceals them. Huh. 
Now, on the end of this, let me look at our Darth Maul here. Let's consult what we did on the end of those lightsabers. So we'll take some of our Fanchion Red and then some of our Floral Red. I'm actually going to throw a little bit of, whoops, a little bit of thinner. That was a lot of thinner. It's all right. Also, minus the fuzz on the end of the brush there. Bingo. All right. So I think the, the lightsaber there is uh, pretty good. Good to go. Now, the interesting thing about when you mix your own fluorescent paints like this, they tend to dry faster because you have control over how much linseed oil is in that mix. And that, boy, that really does make a big difference. All right, I'm going to consult the flashlight here. Yeah. Maybe a little more up there-ish, possibly. What's on that? Okay. Let's backtrack a bit here. So I am using a little bit of the fluorescent orange, too, to make sure that this doesn't get too pink. Now I also want to drag out that Darth Maul to see... So yeah, very, uh, very similar, yes. That was also painted up on the stream. Again, you can go check out all of these past sessions. They're all saved as highlights. There's also all the clips, too, that uh, Bithron has made over the, well, lots of those. Many, many, many clips. You know what? I'm going to say the temple should also get some of our light here. All right, get some of our lighter magenta ish color here. None of that, or does it? We'll consult our flashlight again. <laughs> well, it, it sort of does get down in there. I guess uh, I'm going to try this. Less is more. More is way too much. Let's see what we got here. And I'm just going to try and sneak my brush down in here. And do a little teensy bit of, see that little tiny bit of red. But look at, see how that, that darker color got onto that brush there. And use this, see if I can get a, just a smidge more down here again. If I do this, no chance of getting back there. But if I do this, right, the relaxed grip on the brush, caress the brush. Don't crush the brush. There. Now it's a little bit of red working its way into that. Now I'm also... Where's my... There's my floral yellow. I'm going to put some of that here and actually tone down some of this on the floor. So make that a little bit on the... a little bit darker. This is another thing. If I tried doing this, I want to say about an hour ago, very likely the paint's just going to get kind of wiped off there. Let me use 
this is a little bit of a blending brush. It's a blending brush with color on it. Sometimes I do that. Not very often. But sometimes even when a brush has some paint on it, I'll actually go ahead and use uh, use that as a blending brush. Now I think I still have to try and get that light. Ah, good. That's pretty much what's on the brush here too. So what we've got here, once again, that is a Green Stuff World texture roller, actually attached to the top of a regular shatter point base. Because the regular shatter point bases, they're not terribly interesting. Uh, basically, that's it. <laughs> I mean, they're super, super flat, not a lot going on. So kind of boring, and we uh, we spice those up. In this case, again, with the uh, Green Stuff World Texture Rollers, you can see like this, yeah, I cut that circle out of there, basically. Hmm, let me thin that down a little more. We're going to do the edge of this. The whole plate, yeah, see the whole plate was way too light there. And of course, what you've got here, that's, you can see how that's got more height to it than the usual base would. Now, that again is because we added the texture roller on top and when I paint this, uh, this has that kind of not quite black 3.0 on it. But when I do the actual black 3.0 on this base, you'll just you won't be able to see any any variation whatsoever in the height or, or shape or anything. So it'll actually look like the base always was that way. This red right here, we've got to take away. There's a really sharp line there. That's better. I think I might still try to lighten this red up over here too. Right here on his belt. There. Okay. Yeah, no, no, back over here. I don't think that any of the lighter red should work its way down into there too much. Let me see if I can do this much. About what we did on the bottom of the base, perhaps. Alright, there. Not not too much, though. Th oh, okay. Darker. I'm going to go with the darker red here. So that's our Egyptian a little bit of the naphthol red. And we'll make that much darker. Once again, consult with the light here. Not too much of that back there, just a little something. Same there. Now this... Maybe those are... 
I'm going to switch it. Maybe a little reflected light here. So we'll go back to this kind of grayish tone. And now uh, you know, the other thing, I wonder if anybody has, I'm sure they have done 3D or some 3D printable well essentially the forge world add-ons like the extra tusks and the chains and all that kind of stuff it's the the one thing i still don't even have for my either of my harad armies far harad or near harad is is a mumak uh, i think you almost never see those and unfortunately as i i was trying to watch a few battle reports again and boy i forgot just how similar all that is it's the same kind of list the same ideas all the time same missions over and over again which is why i'm really glad that uh the, uh, I'm going to try and do the live streaming format there. Now, that's got too much of our blue on it. What about this end here? Let me just grab a paper towel here. Again, instead of using a whole bunch of cleaner on it, I'm just going to do this. I'm just taking the paper towel here, and that way it's going to be nice and dry. And of course, here you see, I got some paint on my hands there. If that's something that you don't want to have, well, speaking of 3D printing, right, we all have heavy duty nitro gloves, so you could put one of those on. Short of that, though, all it's going to take me is about two minutes, warm water, dish soap, all that'll be gone. Just like some of these brush strokes now are going to be gone because we're doing a little tap, tap, tap thing here. Like that. Again, over here. So we added some dark over here. Mm, no, I, I need to clean up some more edges in here. Let me do that. Van Dyke Brown. Maybe a touch of our red, too. A little bit of the uh, Naphthal red. Uh, okay, that just might be working the way I was hoping, and then we'll have to come in. I mean, he has basically white here, so we still need to get some light there, but not super, super light. So, most, I'm just going to maybe go with something like really yellow pale here. Or is that too much like a skin tone? I, I don't know. We'll just go with this. Again, look, my hand is nowhere near the metal ferrule of that brush. Now maybe a little bit of light on the, on the skin there. I need to, uh, I'm going to get a little bit of the red on the neck there. I think we'll do that. So we'll do that. I'm just uh, going to check here with my flashlight. Oh, geez, yeah. Yep. Yeah. I looked at that and I said, huh. I'm pretty sure there may be some, uh, some of the red reaching that area. Given where that lightsaber is. So there you go. Now I don't want to, I didn't want to necessarily play connect the darks or wipe out the dark that's disconnecting these two. So I'm just going to use the blending brush. That's the, the little micro blending brush, of course. Soften up the edge of that. 
Maybe one more time to lighten this up. So everybody please check out the Instagram link that Al Capone just posted. So Al, you're going to have to send me some pictures. You have to send me some pictures of what you've been doing there. So everybody please check out that link that Al posted. That says that Instagram link. Yep, that's an Insta. So Night Whisper checked it out, said some nice things. Everybody else should do the same. Everybody please again check out that link by uh by Al Capone. Now, as I look at this, basically goes from a really, really light to a super dark. We need a transition, more of a differential between that. Let me try something like this. So it's not definitely not a dark, but also not... Not quite so light. Mm, yeah, I, I think we're all. Yeah, I don't think that the blue really does reach that area quite so much. Might still get a little bit of my lightsaber. light here on the side of his face. Is this too light? We'll find out soon enough. Bing, there we are. Maybe not. I'm going to get a little of our brilliant yellow pale and some of my radiant yellow just so it doesn't get too peachy there. Yeah, look what my hand is on this, but nowhere near that metal ferrule. Otherwise, I'd be basically bashing right into that lightsaber. I'm going to try and get the top of his ear-ish a little more. Side of his beard. Maybe up there on his forehead. I think we just gotta... <clears throat> oh yeah, okay, let that cast a little bit of a shadow and then get this. But then we'd have to darken up his forehead over there too. Oh well. There's a lot going on in a small area there. And you've got, uh, yeah, let me see if I can get a little, couple little lights in that. It's probably some kind of metal there, too, anyways. This, yeah, that's going to need some of our stronger light tones here. Right along that. Some there. Okay, that works. Either Bithron. Uh, so Bithron. Oh gosh, uh, today wasn't the meeting, was it? I don't know. I think maybe today was the meeting. You'll have to let me know in uh, Instagram there what uh, what became of that. So I did a little little extra light there. Ah, it's a boy hoy, how you doing? Great to see you again. Now of course our last stream, if you recall, what was it? It was uh, about four and a half hours long, or maybe it was was it five hours long or something like that? And we painted four four of our coursers of Umbar. Yeah, we painted four of these guys. 
and then of course here uh, two hours and 51 minutes ago this was just primer there was no paint on there ah they had it yesterday sorry about that Bithron well I'm getting mixed up because it's almost midnight here so I'm getting mixed up on my days alright I'm gonna throw a little more light there Uh, so it's a boy. Hopefully you had yourself again a, a nice, uh, nice start to the week. Nothing too crazy. And of course we've had a couple of others with the dual light sources here. We had this one and then uh, her right here. And we did add to the base there. That's not how the bases actually come. That's uh, combination of these uh, texture roller bits here from green stuff world and then also uh, adding these little pipes here those are 3d printed those are from printing those ever on and no, sorry make it epic basing sorry more of our light there Trying to catch a little bit right now. That was too much. It's all right. So, all right. We'll just come back and we'll take some of that away. Not a problem. Does sharpen up the edge, which is good because that also then makes it well kind of uh, shinier, all right? Because that's what you need is those uh, sharper edges there. Hmm. Let me see if I can use this as a bit of a mini blending brush there sure enough yep are there any other little brush jokes or edges that I'm seeing here I think we are gonna go after this too because now we are getting close to that three hour mark so what do we always say oh, around the three hour mark that's when we can start doing some of our brush stroke management And all that is, just a brush of varying sizes, sometimes really big, sometimes really tiny like this one here. Ah, boy, Bithron, uh, boy, I could swear that happened on uh, not, uh, I think that happened before, not super long ago, I could swear. A similar bummer thing kind of happened there. Just trying to get rid of some little bits of fuzz here. There we go. Now over here, let me shine my little light on that and see, yeah, that also should get some of our blue. No problem, we'll do that here. So yeah, I was, I was going to ask you about those because, well, there's certainly, I guess said, well, Kathy's family up in Minnesota, I guess the entire state was affected there. And it, uh, well, we could certainly, we certainly had some of that stuff down here as well. Yeah, we needed to just do something like now. I'm going to act to connect that. This is pretty much the, uh, radiant blue right here, radiant turquoise right here, sorry. I think even on uh, maybe I need to go lighter on that or let me try and just get some so called regular skin tone maybe in an area here. So we yeah, like, uh Kathy's family was telling me that uh, yesterday was pretty much the entire state was impacted. But we're just starting to recognize that very distinct fog like uh, appearance here. That weird kind of haze. So 
So hopefully everybody is okay. I want to make sure everybody is all right. Let's have some Prussian blue. Some Prussian blue and radiant turquoise there. Once again, gonna. Yeah, let me get a little bit of my. That same blue over here. It's very much a mid tone. See you later there, Doji. See you later. Uh, well, again, your Friday, my Thursday. So yeah, the uh, that was just one of the days where I was had to get over to where the the mural is. It was genuine. I mean, it looked like fog. <laughs> it didn't actually look quite like smoke. It looked just more like fog, which was very confusing. Now we haven't had anywhere near as much as they've had up in Minnesota. Here it's been more of a just kind of a weird sort of a yellowish just a weird tinge to everything yeah that that's working out okay so again you see we got the warmer colors on that side the cooler colors on that side Now over here, obviously, we've got the red glow on this side. Now I'm going to say, I, I, I'm going to try and get a couple of more lights on his fingers there, I think, maybe. Now, Sarge, it might be a little bit different since we've added to this, but when we did our film noir, it was kind of the usual story of the object source lighting, for the most part, kind of just goes away. It looks a little bit more like just shading, doesn't it? I mean, yeah, okay, sure, there. I mean, there's there's a little bit of it, but you, it's only because you're seeing, well, a lightsaber and, and all this stuff over here that you just kind of fill in the blanks. But here, when the color is in there, a whole different story, right? Very, very distinctive. And it's been that case with all of them, which is really, uh, it's really interesting to see that, right, Sarge? Uh, you almost just kind of wouldn't expect that. And, I mean, here... On the base, right? That just that doesn't really uh, show up at all in film noir. Now I'm also gonna darken this a little here. That's a little bit much on the ground level there. So I'm just gonna take some of that away. Yeah. Take away a little more. That may, yeah, see, that makes up much, much more sense there. Didn't have to be quite that bright. Now I'm also going to try and, uh, some of the brush strokes here. Again, some brush stroke maintenance time here. And all that is is just a very gentle little tap, tap, tap there. No, uh, none of this. All that's going to do is smear things. We don't need to smear this. We just need to get essentially the excess paint removed. That's what we're looking to do. Uh, so Sarge, uh, now that you've had some chow there, you're able to, well, and the dogs have done uh, done their greeting. Now is it time for those uh, chill down time for Sarge? And of course, Sarge, well, it looks like you're able to still kind of progress on some of your uh, 
some of your the, the the space marine things that you were trying to do as we welcome in brown town games g whiz brown town games that's fantastic to see you again nice to see you brown town i hope that uh, things have been going pretty well for you so well, g whiz what kind of uh, hopefully you've been able to kind of keep going on uh, on the miniature painting front make progress there yeah oh boy that makes a huge difference here that is a mighty difference again just going after some brush strokes here that's all we're doing however that had to wait we could not be a hasty little hobbit don't be hasty little hobbits is and uh, as far as, because people ask me, well, how long should I wait for things to set, right? Where you put something on there, and then you wait a while before you come back to make some modifications to it. Well, they will depend on the color as well. So I would say something like a thalo color, or even our reds or something like that. Even some violets, you might want to give that a little longer. Now, this is actually some ultramarine blue here. I'm going to see if actually changing up the flavor of that blue a little bit also makes a difference. And yeah, yeah, yeah. See, so this is much more of a reddish blue. Everything we've been using in this area so far, much more turquoise. So, therefore, more towards the green. Trying to kind of cheat a little bit here and squeeze in yet another type of color contrast. Boy, Brown Town Games, yes, it's been a, it's been a wee while. Thanks, thanks again for joining us here. Appreciate that, as always. And thank you so much, Armored Wolf, for posting link to the Patreon page. I've got another uh, new video that I will be posting tomorrow to the Patreon page. That'll actually be video number six this month. Yeah, it'll be video number six. I try. I try to do ten videos each month. This one was sort of a culmination of a loose three-part series. It wasn't really... It's not like an army painting series per se, but it definitely... Uh, there was where we based the figures... Then we uh, made the grass tufts, and then in the, the latest video, we actually utilized those grass tufts. So I'm just getting a little bit more of the blue there. Now, these are just too much, too many little dots right there. I'm going to try and go, well, when in doubt, make things darker. Let's try that. Just some Van Dyke Brown here. Right here on the hair. Maybe some of that back here. Separate some of these two. Fine. Now, what about this stuff here? Let me try and just get some more of my red here. Right, it's got a little bit of the Van Dyke Brown in there because that's what's on the brush. Oh, that helps. I think on the sleeve here, I would like to darken that down a little bit then. Get my little micro blending brush here. Do a little bit of tap, tap, tap on that. Yeah. A little bit of that same red over here. Again, that sort of stippling type of brush stroke. Uh, so, Brown Town, we've been doing a whole bunch of this shatter point stuff. Now, I got the the new box here. Now, uh, as uh, put together, they did some re relatively simple basing for them. Again, added the uh, texture roller thing on the top and then some of the the two of the pipes there. I 
as we basically did pretty much the entire starter box. Now we're we're moving on. No, 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 I need the blending brush over here. We need the blending brush, and we're also going to welcome in Denethor. Uh, where, where did he go? Where are you at, Denethor? There you are. It's like, ooh. So what is it with you? Wait, wait a minute. You look familiar. That this is... You do seem taller, though. Doesn't he seem taller to you? Also, uh, where's the sandals and the robe? It's like, what are you talking about? It's like, seriously, dude. I know you're from somewhere. <laughs> so, how are you doing there, Denethor? Great to see you again. So yeah, Brown Town. Uh, we actually uh, were using some of our homemade fluorescent red here, just like we used. Where's our Darth Maul? There we go. It's like we used on him. Now, of course, uh, there's been lots of glowy things here. Whether they're Mandos or Jedi's, right? Plenty of glowy stuff. Because, you know, glowy stuff, right? So, Denethor, great to see you again. So, Denethor, I'll be working on the mural again tomorrow. Well, today. So, yes, more. Well, it will be the last session on the mural. No matter what, this is the last, last session on that thing. This is a little, yeah, it's a little too much of the darker red. Also, going to thin it down a little bit. Keep in mind, though, you can thin the oils. What can you never do? You cannot dilute them. Can't, can't do that. It's not going to happen. You can thin them just fine, but if it's a brilliant yellow pale and you thin it down to 90% thinner, it's still going to be brilliant yellow pale. You'll be surprised at just how much it can cover. <clears throat> just the final details, uh, basically I had to wait. It was far more efficient and, well, same same thing like we talk about here all the time with, with even the miniatures. It was more efficient to just let what I did last week dry so that it'd be far more easy to put on some quick highlights of, on uh, the leaves and on some of the flowers. So instead of struggling trying to paint on the massive wall, these, these light highlights over the flowers, just let them dry. And what would ordinarily take maybe an hour and a half Without it being dry, I can do it maybe 20 minutes or so with it being dry. Thank you so much, Bithron. Appreciate that. It, it's been a little bit weird, right, uh, painting painting this with all of our near... We already did... Oh, yeah, Bithron, there already was a confrontation between Saruman and uh, this guy right here. Inevitably, it was it was going to lead to a clash, right? There was going to be a clash between our Saramukus. All right, and then the last little bit of light there on that cloak. But the reason that shows up as lighter is because of the dark over here. Not so much because it's light there. It's all about the dark. Uh, yeah, Arden and Michael, I keep thinking that uh, Blackheart Miniature, they must have, you know, Christopher Lee, but as uh, as Dracula. Well, I mean, uh, Saruman, well, <laughs> none of his plans uh, came even close to working out. You know, he wasn't all that great with the plans. Nah, just kind of how it goes for some folks. <laughs> they, You give them ten choices, they will choose, like, and they have to put them in a priority order. They'll put, like, number ten at the top. 
all the things that they should be doing first, those will be at the end of the list. It's inevitable. Nah, not going to line that up anymore. I will have a little bit of the red hit that and just a smidge of that over here, I think. Yeah, we need a little bit of crossover. I don't know. I really don't want to darken that down too much. The little uh, lightning effect, I guess, if that's what we want to call it there. I don't know if I want to darken that too much. Maybe get back to some Prussian blue. That's going to be dark. I'm just looking to do that on a couple of ends here. Darker that is, the more the glow stands out, so might as well do it. Okay, not too much, and then we'll work some of that back into here. So that's got some of the ultramarine in there as well. A smidge of our ultramarine blue. You know what, let me consult my reference on this here real quick. Aha, uh -huh, okay. <laughs> that's why that's not quite... Here, I'll get back to my indigo, I think. Well, that might be a little too much. Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of some of that. It was way too much there. All right. When I looked at my reference, I said, okay, there is some separation with that there. Now, what's going on down there? I'm going to take some... Whoops, <laughs> it's got a little too much of the Prussian blue there. We're going to take some of our kind of warm-ish gray here. Is that too light? Too light. I'm going to darken that down with some of our Van Dyke brown here. There we go. Okay, it's supposed to be in, well, some kind of shadow there. Also, there is a crazy little weird blue edge over there. That's getting spread out. So much easier to do that, again, with the oils. <laughs> 